quiet examinations today of this scene of deadly destruction yesterday that thankfully wasn't even worse. Uh, I think we're very fortunate that no other lives have been lost, no rescuers were, work, were, were injured, and we want to keep it that way. We want to make sure it takes whatever time using engineers and experts to ensure that we do this as safely as possible. Two of the five victims, brothers Patrick and Eric Stemmer, are being remembered online with GoFundMe sites set up to support their young families. Their family owns a construction company in the small community of Salmon Arm. Patrick Stemmer had just recently posted videos of the crane working on the Kelowna building. It's hard. It's really hard. These are people, hard, lovely, hardworking people. And they, you know, lives have been lost doing their job. Neighbors say they had gotten to know some of those working on the site, even asking questions of the crane operators and how they did their job. He went up there and he inspected everything on the way up. Um, and sometimes if we were out in the front, you know, he might be see us beginning and have a little wave or something, you know. Those who witnessed the accident still find it hard to believe. The speed at which that sort of catastrophic event happened where the you know, the, the crane uh, broke away and fell as, as so fast that no one could have uh, really gotten out of its way. Engineers are trying to secure what is still standing to safely retrieve the fifth body and then begin what will be a lengthy investigation. Well, it's a tedious process. There's a set procedure. Those who investigate crane accidents say as they are being dismantled, there is a set system and that some of the cranes do collect data about conditions like wind. The crane will tell you what happened along with a statement. Get the statements from the people before they have an opportunity to talk to each other. Susanna, what do we know about the effort to retrieve the body of the latest victim? Well, Vancouver's heavy urban search and rescue team was asked to assist. They arrived in Kelowna tonight. They will be evaluating the scene and determining when it is safe for them to be able to go in and retrieve that body. At that point, the city may then look at allowing some of those residents and buildings, uh, to, businesses rather, to come back in. The area is still evacuated around that. Then the RCMP will lead the investigation to determine nothing criminal happened, and WorkSafe BC will look into it to figure out exactly what went wrong. Asha? Susanna De Silva in Vancouver. Thanks for this.